hi guys um, just another quick video for you um, I haven't shot a new tutorial yet but I'm working on it but with this video I just wanted to very quickly share with you guys um, some lipsticks that I've really been liking now with me and lipstick it's not always been the best relationship I've not really when I when I was younger I just never really got into lipstick I didn't understand it I didn't like the way it felt on my lips but since there have been so many advances in formulation with lipsticks, I've actually been finding some that wear as light as, if not lighter than gloss. So I just wanted to share a couple with you that I found in my quest to find lipsticks that I like. Um, some of these are kind of darker colors, but that's kind of the trend right now. But hopefully I will get in, I do have one really bright one in there, I'll show that one to you as well. Um, but in the meantime, let's go on ahead and get started. Uh, the first one I'm going to share with you guys, since this is the only one of its kind. Uh, this is one by Wet n Wild. Um, this is what the tube looks like, and it's one of their matte lipsticks. I forget the full name of it. Um, and the color name is Cherry Bomb, and the code number thingy on the bottom is C918D. That's what that looks like. Hope you guys can see. That's what that looks like. And then this is what the color looks like. It's just a really, just a really deep, rich, matte red color. And I'll swatch it for you here. Alright, so that's what the cherry bomb looks like on. Or it's probably gonna it's probably gonna be a little bit darker on you darker if you've got darker lips but that's just what that looks like swatched on the palm of my hand I really like this one and for a matte lipstick this actually wears really really well and it doesn't dry my lips out like matte lipsticks can tend to do but there have been a lot of really great strides made with the formulation and the matte lipsticks so th this is definitely one you should try out this one was how much was this? I think it was three or four dollars at Rite Aid. So for the price, you can definitely give this one a try. And it comes in a couple of other different colors too, like a raisin color. There's like a really hot pink one. There's like kind of a peachy color. I don't know all the color names, but if you if you're near a Rite Aid, go check these out because they're really good for the money. The next four lipsticks I'm going to show you, these are all from Revlon. These are all Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. And these are really good buys too. Um, I don't know how much it is would be where anybody else is. But I know for me, I got all mine mainly at Walmart and Target and didn't pay more than $6. So they range more. They range in like the 5 or $6 range for each of them. So if you want to try those a whirl, um, or give those a whirl, sorry. Um, you could definitely try those, and they're really great lipsticks to me um, for not a whole lot of money. So, if you're on a budget, this is a great way to go. So, the four that I got uh, the first one is called Black Cherry, this one is called Vava Violet, this one, Cherries in the Snow, and then this one is called Peach Me. Now, uh, the first one I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you Peach Me. I actually have that on now, and that's what it looks like. And what I really like about Peach Me is it's a nude lipstick, or it would be a nude, it's a nude for me, but it's not like that pale, pasty looking nude. I don't really like that look so much on my skin. So it's been kind of my goal to find a nude that will work well with my, that I feel will work well with my skin tone. And this is what Peach Me looks like. And then this is what it looks like swatched on my hand. I hope you guys can see that. But it's just a really kind of soft, peachy, apricot color. It's an it's a neutral nude or so well yeah, it's a neutral nude. So it doesn't really tend pink or yellow. So I think a lot of people could wear this if you wanted to. And with me just to keep to help it blend a little bit better what I did is I just put a brown liner on it on first and then put the lipstick over that just to help the edges blend a little bit letter better um, with the rest of my skin but I really really like this one it's to me it's just, it's a perfect nude for me like I really honest to God don't think I'll do any better than this 
And if anybody knows of anything better than this, please let me know. But I really, really like this one. And that's, let's see, shade 628, and it's a pearl. So it's not, it doesn't have a whole, whole lot of shimmer to it. But um, it does have a little bit to it, but it's nothing like ostentatious or anything. And like I said, I've got it on like now. And it just looks like I have a little bit of gloss on, but... Ooh, excuse me. But I, I really like that one a lot. Uh, the next one I have here is Vava Violet. That's what that is. That's what the bottom looks like here. Hope you guys can see that. And it's a cream. So it doesn't have... It's it's kind of a matte, but it's not a true matte. It does have a little bit of shine to it. And that's what this one looks like. Is just a very, very pretty deep, deep purple which I really like and this color is really in for this time of year and then this is what it looks like let me swatch it for you alright so that is the Vava Violet and it's kind of it's kind of got a little bit of a red tone to it not a whole whole lot but um, it's got a little bit of a red tone to it. I really like this one. Now, if you don't want to wear yours this dark, you can always take some clear lip gloss and sheer this down, and it'll be a really pretty color wash. But I really like this just as a lipstick because I really feel like it goes with my skin tone and everything. And it wears really comfortably, too. Like, I was really surprised for $5 because normally when you get into the less expensive lipsticks, it just doesn't go good. But these are relatively inexpensive and they do a wonderful job I think uh, the next color I got is black cherry and it's kind of on the same wavelength as the Vava Violet and that's what that looks like I hope you guys can see I don't know if my autofocus is doing good or not but that's the bottom of that and then I will swatch it and show you what it looks like So there we go. That is the Black Cherry. And you can see it's kind of on the same wavelength as Vava Violet. But this one's just got more of the red showing through. This one's a really, really gorgeous color. This is good for you if you want to wear a red but you don't want to wear a bright, bright red. This would be a good option for you. Um, and I think it would probably work on a lot of different skin tones. You would just have to work with a little bit little bit but I really like it I these two are probably my favorites the Vava Violet and, and then the last the black one I have cherry. to show you guys this one is also a Revlon super lustrous lipstick and it's called cherries in the snow that's what it looks like and this is my adventure into a bright lip color and the best way I can describe this is kind of a I don't know, a pink toned red or a red toned pink. I don't know. It's just really bright. And if this is like, this would be like the equivalent of having fire engine red lipstick, I would guess. Except if you don't want to go that route or want to switch it up a little bit, you could definitely do cherries in the snow. But that is what cherries in the snow looks like. And I. I'm not really so much on bright colors, but I really, really like that one a whole, whole lot. I was super excited to find it, and I was even better when I tried it on and actually liked it. To tone it down a little bit, I do use it with a brown lip liner. Um, you can use it with just a matching lip liner if you want to do it, but if you want to tone it down a little bit, just use it with a brown lip liner, and you should be perfectly fine with it. Um, but anyway, that's all I had to show you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, or even if you have any suggestions of lipstick colors that you think I should try, um, comment and leave me a message and everything, and I'll be glad to, you know, give those a try and see what I think of them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Bye!